Islamic Circle of North America was founded in September 1968. This is a, one of the largest national Muslim organization at this time. From day one, they were doing, they were involved in uh, outreach to the to the society. They were involved in the character building of the individual. They were involved in the organi organizing those who accepted that outreach program. In 2009, we established the ICNA Council for Social Justice. ICNA has understood from the very start that social justice is a part of our Dao. It's a part of our presence that if Muslims are not committing themselves to social justice, then they're not living to the fullness of their identity. And as ICNA has always been at the forefront of so many of these efforts, now the ICNA Council for Social Justice is formalizing a lot of that, taking on specific causes of social justice and channeling not just members of ICNA, but leading the way for other organizations and other members of the community to come forth, inshallah ta'ala, and to take on causes that are so essential, not just for Muslims in America, but for all people here in this country. So we established seven focus areas very quickly. We established that this racism issue, the unjust immigration policies, poverty and hunger and income inequality, family destruction, global justice, Islamophobia, and injustice to indigenous people. From the very beginning, we were very clear that this project and this department is not uh, going to be uh, only for Muslims, but we are going to touch upon the social justice issues that are affecting larger society, uh, other communities, you know, wherever there is an issue of justice. We are not only worried about issues that concern us, we are worried about issues that concern people of color, people of minorities, uh, people who are struggling to, to get their immigration issues resolved. I joined ICNA Council for Social Justice because I wanted to not sit behind a desk for the rest of my life, you know. I wanted to do something that brings some sort of a positive, uh, some, uh, where somehow I can give a positive uh, feedback to society. I can bring it back in a good way. Social justice is about getting to the root of the problem. That's how you really fix it. So the classic example is, Defeating the homeless will not eradicate homelessness. You know, um, you know when you give that homeless person a, a bag of food or some cash, you have immediate gratification that you've done something good, which is fine. But social justice, how, okay, how do you eradicate homelessness completely from society? That takes that's not that's not an immediate gratification that people will have. The ICNA Council for Social Justice was one of the first uh, people that joined with the CCF when we incorporated in 2010. And they've been more than just a member of the board. They have been a genuine partner with us in dealing with the kind of issues that come from preemptive prosecution. The Muslim Prisoner Support Project of CSJ is one of the newest adventures, or not adventures, but one of the newest ventures uh, that the council has taken on. And this Muslim Prisoner Support Project is an attempt to help Muslim uh, inmates uh, pre-trial as well as pro Post trial. ICNA Council for Social Justice has launched uh, an anti-bullying campaign where we train Muslim kids on bullying because after a lot of stories were coming out of Muslim kids being uh, picked on in school, uh, Muslim women having their hijabs basically pulled at and, um, and also Muslim brown kids being called terrorists in class. So we had a lot of complaints from parents and uh, they wanted to, you know, ICNA CSJ to some, somehow take some part in it. So we created a whole campaign around it where we uh, went and we spoke with researchers and professionals who, uh, who do bullying research and we put together a workshop. So now we provide it around the country for free and we're hoping to uh, basically go to every Islamic school and uh, Sunday school uh, and reach all of the Muslim communities around the country and eventually we want to go into non-Muslim communities as well. National Muslim Advocacy Day it is are being organized under the, under the uh, U.S. Council for Muslim Organization, USCMO. And in USCMO, all major national Muslim organization part of that. So ICNA, Islamic Circle of North America, is part of that. And on behalf of ICNA, ICNA Council for Social Justice 
facilitate all those participation in the National Muslim Advocacy Day. ICNA Council for Social Justice that plays a crucial role in providing the logistics, the accommodation and so many other um, services to this amazing large contingent that is growing so fast every year and bringing the voices of the community to their elected reps in the House and in the Senate. I encourage you to support the ICNA Council for Social Justice, inshallah ta'ala. Help it develop, help it become a shining wing of ICNA. I think it's very important for people to get involved with Muslim advocacy and social justice as a whole. There are very few groups that take the opportunity to represent Muslims politically. And ICNA CSJ is one of the few groups that is leading this um, movement and find an outlet for them, whether it's writing articles and publications, spreading knowledge, attending protests, or even lobbying, it allows you to have that voice and not just for you, but for your community as a whole and to bridge those gaps in our current political climate. It is the um, saying of the prophet also that we should uh, help the oppressor and the oppressed. We help the oppressor uh, because we stop him from oppressing the people. And so we need to stand up in this land uh, to help the people who need our help and stand for the social justice in this country and all around the world. This past winter, 2018, we had the opportunity to go to El Paso, Texas and assist the asylum seekers and translate for them and truly be there for them. Because when one hurts, we all hurt. We were also outside uh, the Tornillo Campan where they were holding minors, over 3,000 of them. And that experience was truly heartbreaking. As a single mother of one, I can only share that I can't imagine for a blink of an eye, a second, what that would be like. So Council of Social Justice, ICNA, is doing a tremendous amount of work uh, on the ground, uh, providing assistance. I was there as an interpreter. Um, I speak Spanish and uh, we are really all over trying to help our fellow Americans.